Now here's a little tip for you. Let's say you're going to let this paint dry and you're going to come back in a half hour or an hour after it dries a little bit, it scans up, you could put a second coat on. Well, what you could do with this is leave this extra paint on here and I could just add a little bit more, wipe some off, let's say, like that. And you take a piece of plastic, wrap around here and push it on nice and tight so that there's no air and then you can just leave it alone. Then you don't have to rinse it out. Now when you get ready to do more paint, just pull the plastic off. It's still wet. And you can dip it in there and go. If I let this just like this for an hour or more, it's going to get hard. And then I'm not going to be able to use it. So I would have to rinse this out every time I use this paintbrush. You know, but because I'm going to use this one more time, I think I'm going to go back on this base. Uh, after this dries, as a matter of fact, there's a spot over there. Better get that. I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some plastic on there. Try as I might, I couldn't find much plastic, but you go to the hardware store enough, you got a hardware bag, you can use that. You can use a grocery bag, you know, that you get, whatever. Okay, so now I'm just going to wrap that up in there, like that. Fold that over. And that is all wet and saturated. I'm going to push it tight, make sure the air is out of it. And I can leave it right like that. Okay. In fact, I probably should get the paint can lid. I can take the paint can lid, just put it on there to protect it from the air getting in there too much. I'll, I'll end up mixing it again. I'm not really too concerned about that. But I can leave that just like that. Leave it right over there. And then in an hour, I'll zip that out and do this baseboard one more time. That's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos.